Just 50 years ago, Dubai was a small unknown town in the middle of an unforgiving desert. But this all changed when oil was discovered in the region, transforming Dubai from a desert backwater port into a booming metropolis that currently ranks third as the city with the most skyscrapers in the world. What started as a small town has now transformed itself into a business and tourism hub unlike anything seen before. Home to mind-blowing structures such as the Burj Khalifa, Palm Jumeirah, and soon the Dubai Creek Tower. In this video, we take you on a journey through Dubai's transformation and take a closer look at some of the most impressive mega projects. We will also discover Dubai's future mega projects, including the 711 meter tall Maiden One Tower and the Dubai Creek Tower. Nineteen ninety nine, Burj Al Arab. The Burj Al Arab is one of the tallest hotel only buildings in the world. With a total height of 321 meters or 1,050 feet, it is slightly taller than the Eiffel Tower and a mere 60 meters shorter than the Empire State Building. In 1999, after five years of construction, the $1 billion sail shaped building was completed. The hotel stands magnificently atop an artificial island. Hotel guests who don't own a helicopter can access the Burj Al Arab using the bridge. That's lucky. Imagine if you didn't have a helicopter. The helipad has been used for a number of record-breaking sporting events. At one point, it was being transformed into a boxing ring, a tennis court, and even a race car track. 2001, the Palm Jumeirah. The quest for ultimate luxury in Dubai did not end with the Burj Al Arab. In June of 2001, construction on the Palm Jumeirah began, and by 2006, the first residential units were sold to the public. The Palm Jumeirah was part of the massive land reclamation project known as the Palm Islands, which include two other archipelagos, the Palm Dera and the Palm Jebel Ali. The Palm's crescent-shaped backwater was the first section to be constructed to prevent strong sea currents from damaging the inner island structures. By the time all 17 fronds of the Palm Jumeirah were complete, the project had cost a mind-blowing $12 billion. 2009, the Dubai Metro. To move around Dubai fast, you'll have to use the Dubai Metro. This rapid transit rail network was launched in 2009 and consists of fully automated and driverless trains that travel across 49 stations. In total, the Dubai Metro covers 75 kilometers or 46 miles, making it the longest automated driverless metro in the world. While this is by all means impressive, the length is dwarfed by the New York subway, which has 10 times as many stations and covers roughly 400 kilometers or 250 miles. 2010, the Burj Khalifa. Dubai is not only home to the longest driverless metro in the world, but also the world's tallest skyscraper, the Burj Khalifa, with a height of 828 meters, or 2,720 feet. To clinch this record, the Dubai government began the construction of the Burj Khalifa in 2004. Six years and one and a half billion dollars later, the Burj Khalifa was officially opened on January 4, 2010. At the height of the construction, more than 12,000 workers were working on the skyscraper every day. And by the time the final slab of the Burj Khalifa was laid, more than 55,000 tons of steel had been used, enough to build the Eiffel Tower six times. 2010, Al Maktoum International Airport. While architectural marvels like the Palm Jumeirah and the Burj Khalifa are quickly becoming tourist hotspots, Dubai also had to expand its airports to keep up with the ever-growing tourist stream. Located in the region of Jebel Ali, Al Maktoum is an international airport named after the ruler of the Emirate of Dubai, Muhammad bin Rashid Al Maktoum. It is also known as the Dubai World Central International Airport and was opened in 2010. The construction of the airport is believed to have cost the Dubai government a jaw-dropping $82 billion. Today, the airport is the fourth busiest in the world, with almost 90 million annual passengers. 
2018 Dubai Frame. While the Al Maktoum International Airport was built for functionality, the Dubai Frame, on the other hand, was built to showcase the city's extravagance. This magnificent architectural landmark is located in Dubai's Zabil Park and was opened in 2018, costing the Dubai government a staggering $62 million to complete. Made from aluminum, glass, steel, and reinforced concrete, the frame stands at an impressive 150 meters, or 500 feet tall. It is positioned in such a way that visitors can see the modern features of Dubai when facing one side and older sections of the city when facing the other. Nevertheless, this design marvel has had its fair share of controversy and has even been dubbed the biggest picture frame on the planet. The actual design was done by Fernando Doniz. However, Doniz later took the Dubai government to court on allegations that his intellectual property had been stolen and that he was never compensated for the designs. 2021, The Eye As the main attraction on the recently completed Blue Waters Island, the Eye will be the world's tallest observation wheel once completed in early 2021. The Eye will be 250 meters or 820 feet tall. This will dwarf the current tallest observation wheel, the High Roller in Las Vegas, which stands at just 167 meters or 550 feet. In fact, if you were to lay all the cable wires of the 192 spokes out in a horizontal line, they would cover a mind-blowing distance of 2,400 kilometers or 1,500 miles. 2021, One Zabil. Giant Ferris wheels might be impressive, but there's something truly irresistible about skyscraper projects, particularly the One Zabil. This twin tower project is currently under construction and is expected to be completed in mid-2021. The first tower will be more than 300 meters, or 980 feet, tall, which is roughly the height of the Eiffel Tower. Both towers will be connected with an impressive panoramic sky cantilever. Suspended 100 meters or 330 feet above the ground, it will be the world's longest cantilever and will feature a number of attractions, including lounges and restaurants. 2021, Maiden District 1. What was conceptualized in 2007 as a simple housing project has now morphed into a metropolis in the Nad al Shaba region. Apart from hosting the biggest horse racing festival, as well as the Dubai World Cup, the Maiden District 1 will also be home to the Maiden 1, a 711 meter or 2,330 foot tall residential tower. Once completed, it will be the tallest residential tower in the world. It will also be home to 83,000 high profile residents and the longest indoor ski slope in the world that stretches an impressive one kilometer long. 2021, Dubai Creek Harbor. While Maiden City is no doubt impressive, it will certainly be dwarfed by the Dubai Creek Harbor. This project is located along the Dubai Creek and scheduled for completion in 2021. Once finalized, it will be home to several service departments and a number of open parks and spaces. But the most impressive feature and the centerpiece of this residential paradise will be the Dubai Creek Tower. When completed, the Dubai Creek Tower will be the tallest structure ever built by man. The architects are keeping the exact height a secret so that no competitor, such as the Jeddah Tower, can plan ahead and build a higher tower. This, however, leaves a lot of room for speculation on what its final height will be. What we know is that the tower will rise between 900 and 1400 meters tall, which is up to three and a half times the height of the Empire State Building. The estimated cost of construction is $1 billion. The Dubai Creek Tower will have 10 of the world's highest observation decks that will give panoramic views of Dubai. The observation decks will offer rotating balconies that will extend outside the tower's facade. There will also be two garden decks whose design was inspired by the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Construction on the tower began in 2016 and was supposed to be finished by 2020. Currently, no work has been spotted on the site, and considering all the unique events that have taken place in 2020, the completion date is likely pushed to a later time. So, what do you think of Dubai's transformation and its future? And 